clean my spray nozzles and obviously I can't take you over to a sink to do this so you have to uh, bear with me a bit so this is the ones these uh, spray spray uh, paints are usually the ones that clog up the most with me so I take a jar like this and I put um, alcohol in it uh, rubbing alcohol uh, maybe about half full and then carefully I take the top off and set my ink far away so I don't spill it and then I just disassemble everything we don't obviously have to clean the the um, cover but I throw in the top there and already you can see a whole bunch of paint has come off and then I do pull um, this straw out if it comes out some do and some don't this one does so that the rubbing alcohol can get up into the nozzle there and then I put everything in there I have a cut on my finger and that is stinging and I seal it up good and then I shake it just like it's going to be in a little washing machine and I'm washing all those parts and getting that ink out of there, out of all of those parts. Now sometimes, um, if they're really stubborn, I will leave them sit overnight. Um, and then they'll definitely come clean. Now I'd take this to the sink and I would run uh, hot water on it and get it all clean that way. I'm going to cover this up because I've been having a spilling problem, don't you know? As you have seen. Okay, and then, ouch. Okay, so I, yo, that's stinging my finger. So then um, I start going ahead and assemble it back up. I can see that this one is cleaned out. And this is cleaned out. Stick that back in there. I can see that this tube is cleaned out. And this is the big one, this nozzle here. And I can see with just my eyes that there's a hunk right here. Look at this. that's a whole bunch of paint right there so you can see just by that little bit I'm pulling out this chunk of paint and there's just a little more in there and I'm just using my tweezers and it, this is a process, you know, um, it would be real beneficial to get all your sprays out and check the ones that work and the ones that don't work and then just uh, have a go at it, you know. I'm sure that it'll get easier and easier as you work on them, but some are more gooped up than others. See, there's all that. That's all paint right there. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit for you. I apologize that that was a little far away. But yeah, this this was all paint right here that came out of there. And I can see that there's a little tiny bit more in there. And I'm just carefully pulling it out with my tweezers. Now I'm going to put that one piece back in there in our washing machine. And dig it out. see if there's any left in there. I don't see any. Now I have a little tub of water. I 
ahead of me here, and it's not very clean water. Cover this back up. Now this is good for quite a few times, so don't just use it once. And let's see how we did here. I put it on, and I can already hear that that is a clean nozzle there. Now, one thing, oof, I just sprayed that in my face, that I know for a fact is that um, if you put your finger on the bottom of the hose and spray, that is going to give the spray a better chance of working. And the reason being is because it has to create kind of a vacuum to pull that ink or that spray or whatever it is through. But you can see that that's working. Now, usually I would, um, let's see, I'll just pour a little bit of water in this tr tray here, just so we can see how it's going. Now, you could uh, use your alcohol in this instance, too, um, but I don't want to spray alcohol all over my, and there it is, it's working. So, amen. That is not too hard to do, but the big key is to get this big goober of paint out, and I use that tweezers, and my alcohol washing machine is what I call it. So I can put that back on my ink, and another preventative uh, measure is to Always wipe your nozzle every time you use your spray, even between sprays. So here I am, I'm working on a project. See how nice it's coming out. See, and I may have to go back and use my spray again, but I'm going to wipe that nozzle every single time and keep a cover on it too, another preventative measure. So I hope that helps you. Um, clean out your sprays. I'm going to clean up this area here and see if our our um, art journal page is dry and it is not dry. I'm going to give it a quick dry with my heat tool and we'll be back okay and we'll finish this up.